Hello my Pisces, welcome back. Real quick, I have to get it out. Uh, for those of you that are new, I don't do date and time specific, okay? It's a general reading, so just take what resonates. If it doesn't, check the other signs in your birth chart and watch one of those videos. Or book a personal reading with me, link to my website, description box below. Again, I highly recommend you looking back on previous videos. <clears throat> And I'm struggling with my voice, so this may be a theme throughout the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes I'm ahead of you, so feel free to check back. Something could resonate now from a couple months ago, is what I mean. Otherwise, I could be right online with you, depending on how tuned in you are, Pisces. <laughs> okay, so the spirit animal that you're coming across is the eagle. All right, so you are the big daddy bird, okay? I, <laughs> I'm getting that very strongly here. I'm, I'm feeling like you may uh, assert your authority. You either have or you will be soon. Something has gone on or I'm getting the word out of line. So it's sort of like, I feel like you're going to put things back in line, back in order and I also, when this card first flipped over, <clears throat> I got a very strong sense that somebody may have recently said something to you that you were like, excuse me? You know, I think you you may have ex really disliked somebody's approach or what they said. I'm getting it's something what they said more so. And this has brought out this this big daddy energy that you're coming off as male or female doesn't matter but it's kind of like um and you may have retreated or you could be in retreat right now but you will be coming out soon because the eagle when it sees it makes a it makes a dive for it you're just waiting and you're watching it's like you're watching behind the scenes after this individual either challenged you or said something like i said that you're like really now you are quite ballsy to say that to me. And the next card that came out, which I'm feeling like is the energy here is water. So in this combination, I feel like you're kind of having this energy like, are you, how dare you mess with my emotions or try to mess with my emotions? There is that feeling going on, like whatever happened, some, it, it, it either affected emotions and you don't appreciate it. You, you know, I just feel like you're a little bit irritable. You're tense. You're on edge. But you may choose to be silent for a while until you decide to exert your authority is, is what I'm getting. But I think this is kind of an outer shell that you're putting on, Pisces, because I do feel like there is a lot of deep emotion here because it's like somebody has awakened something in you, stirred this pot, I guess you could say, and it's it's like one individual in general, not many, it's one and so that could be why you're so bothered by what happened or what was said again, because you genuinely feel very strongly in most of the time up until recently, probably a pretty positive light. I will say that you could be receiving an emotional message or, or you may express yourself emotionally soon. Who you're dealing with this, this I feel like is the individual that, that kind of said something to you, <laughs> the timber wolf. And it's interesting because I'm getting ice cold. I'm getting this energy of, yeah, I said it. I said it and I meant it because you both are predators here. You both are predators and there's something that, some sort of tension, something that was, again, stirred up 
that caused you both to kind of like buck, buck back to each other. You could give each other the silent treatment, like I was saying. But it's only a matter of a time before this becomes a showdown. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but that's, I'm feeling, you know, I was, I was getting a very like old Western type of vibe, you know, but it, what's, what's the most interesting about this is you both are very much in your defensive nature, but I think you both also very much feel, if I can get it to go, maybe you're having trouble, oh, <laughs> Maybe you're having trouble making this fit. <laughs> Feel the love. You both are aware of this deep emotional connection, but you're both defensive and against it. Yeah. I, I'm really getting, but you know, it's interesting. I am getting that this timber wolf, once you express order, I think they want you to show something to them. I'm getting that very strongly because the wolf, it likes a sense of belonging. It likes loyalty, order. So depending on the energies that you guys are taking, I don't feel like this timber wolf has an issue with you being the authority, but it's almost like it's challenging you to the position. Are you up for it? Because I'm here to take it back from you, take power back. I mean, they're, they're coming across very, very strong. Could be dealing with an earth or a water sign. Um, they could spend a lot of time alone or they could have this loner type of nature to them. But it's not because they want to be alone forever. It's just, it's very important who is part of their pack. They could have, I, I'm kind of sensing actually that both of you have something very significant about your eyes either the shape or the color. I'm feeling like one of you has a very specific deep color and then the other one has a, 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 a unique, beautiful, like almost, I'm getting like almond or maybe, you know, eyes. Eyes are very significant here. And, you know, for those of you that that doesn't apply, there could be just something like when you guys look into each other's eyes, there's this, there, there's just a knowing between you two. It's so interesting how it's like you, you <laughs> this is kind of giving me the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Smith vibe, you know, <laughs> less, less violence, obviously, because you guys were kind of more in silence with each other. But this kind of, you know, neither one is backing down from their position. But there's so much love and deep emotion that's um, most likely. <laughs> so, and going down here, um, incoming, I mean, incoming communication. Travel could also be significant for you. You could be traveling soon or you will travel a lot. Um, but I feel like if you thought something was over with somebody, it's, it's not. There will be communication. It will open up again. And they could be an earth or a water sign. Again, I have the death card here and the Knight of Pentacles could be a Scorpio. Uh, but doesn't have to be. However, um, this communication could be very significant to the stat to your relationship status, your future relationship status is what I'm getting. It's kind of like you're trying to whatever this is, it's like you're trying to decide how you want to move forward. And if you do want to move forward, I think that there is someone here that you have a lot of emotional love for and there's going to be healing i'm sensing this feels pretty positive i think there's going to be healing in this person between you guys and they could be very independent 
I'm getting busy or you are. This individual may also become very popular or they are. For some of you may be actually dealing with somebody that's well known. And I'm getting like across many skies is what they're saying. Well known across many skies. Yeah. So, but I think that you will choose to move forward with this individual. Once communication begins again, because there's going to be an apology, maybe on both of your ends, but at least one. You know, there is a, a, a ha potential for a happy union here. And I think someone was worried that it was over completely. I'm seeing heartbreak. I'm seeing anxiety and thinking about, you know, the times that you did spend with this person and the work that you did put in and feeling a little disappointed as maybe that it, that it might not go any farther. But I think that if you are feeling this way or cross watcher, you're feeling this way about the Pisces, I, I feel like there could be some communication. There's going to be a lightness, a happiness a wish fulfillment and healing to this scenario. Maybe somebody wasn't behaving in a very committed way or wasn't very serious about a relationship, but I think that they will choose this union because it's like they were guided to this. They're they either intuitively knew it or they felt like they received a sign from an angel. <laughs> There's an angel here blessing this union. There's clouds of doubt in between them, but the angel has blessed this union. So at the end of the day, the sun will prevail. That's why the sun is in the background. No matter what suffers and plagues the mind of those two, there's a path that they're meant to walk together. I'm getting a very positive energy, like I said. I feel like there's going to be a turning around, a changing of course. Somebody may not have been very clear before the communication, the about the potential maybe just was not properly delegated or expressed or just something was put on hold a lot. <clears throat> But I feel like if somebody was turning to, if somebody was walking away, they may be turning around. To revisit, relook at, because I see the passion here. I see Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands reversed. But that doesn't, you know, reversals, yes, they're not always the greatest and they do weaken it. But sometimes I see, I, I go with how I feel on reversals. Because sometimes I see it as potential energy that's just lingering there, that hasn't been fulfilled, that could have been possibly missed. But I think that somebody, it's like it was almost missed. But somebody tried, decided to make a turnaround. You know, I got some a similar energy in the Virgo reading. And there is earth here too. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart or somebody does at least. Um, yeah. Okay. So this looks pretty good. It's just, I think it's, it's about choosing a path to be more committed to something. Something that will bring you great happiness. And for some of you, this person that you could be healing a relationship with, they, you, you guys could have a child together in the future. It's potential. It's potential because I see little children here and here's a little baby here and, and stuff like that. So, you know, not for everybody, but this, this is possible, Piscean. So just keep that in mind. But I do think you're going to get your wish. Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Magician. Whatever you're manifesting, you're going to get it. This can be work. This can be love. I want to say, Pisces, you're going to get it all. <laughs> you just have to have faith and know for sure what it is you want to create. That is the key here. Because the universe is saying, your wish is my command. I want to bring you victory. But the power is in your hands. 
how this turns out, your life, your career, your love, your relationships, it is all dependent on what you want and what you want to manifest manifest, and the choices that you make. You have more power in this situation I'm sensing. Now this could be reversed, but I almost feel like the person that you're dealing with is very plagued by something here. So they're strong, but they could come across a little cold. That's why I feel like you have the power to manifest this. You may actually know how to love a little bit better than this person. You may need to teach them something about love because something I'm getting, they've been burned a lot. And so they, their heart has been hardened and I feel like at nighttime they're plagued by some memories. It's like they're still bound, bound. The devil card in the hermit is popping out, bound to something that they keep a secret, you know, some sort of pain. And um, it's like something ended for them. They spent a lot of time in, in seclusion. And so, not only does there need to be healing to this relationship, but there needs to be healing to the heart of one individual in particular. But you would never guess by interacting with them because they are the Queen of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, not the Queen of Swords. I mean, I guess they could be because I accidentally said it, but they're the Queen of Wands. She is fun. But look at her. She's distracted. She doesn't have time for BS. And... She's a businesswoman, so she's learned to delegate, you know, head over heart. What's going to be, what's going to make her successful, him or her? What does, what needs to be done? You know, pushing those emotions aside. So that's why I say, that's why this dynamic has been a little bit unclear before, because of something of the past now, this could be you, Pisces. You could be this Queen of Wands energy. It just really depends on which one of you, which player you are in this. But there is love here and a potential for a spiritual, traditional relationship and put, putting work into it. You guys may even work together in the future. Some of you may work and live together. Or... or you may just decide to work on something together. But I am definitely feeling like, you know, if you're questioning, somebody's been trapped in their head. They've been resting. They have a lot of conflict, a lot on their mind, a lot that they're trying to sort through. But the overall mes message is that there is love here. And I think that it will prevail despite the fact of the burdens from the past and the toxic. There could be a level of toxicity to this relationship or you both have been very obsessively thinking about this, you know, worried. Because um, I, I sense that you, you equally miss each other if you fought recently. It's like, you know, there's just, you both hurt from this. So... Yeah, it's about working through it, I think. And with that needs to be emotional vulnerability and clarity. So, but overall, I think anything that you're trying to do, like I said, you will have success in it. So good job, Pisces. You're looking pretty good. And um, I wish you best in this connection for whatever it is. I feel like it's romantic, but it could be business could be anybody that's another person that's significant you're trying to work things out with. But I am getting more of a romantic vibe. I, I'm not going to lie. So, <laughs> all right. Have a good week. Bye-bye.